Hi everyone, I'm Utkarsh and this is the Makati 594 Private Stock Graveyard 2. And once in a while um, you come across a video on the internet or you come across a guitar that the moment you see it, you know <laughs> it is your dream guitar. And so was the case for me with this particular guitar. Um, I'm a Les Paul guy but um, I've deviated to PRSs of late over the last 4 or 5 years. And in fact, the Makati 594 has been my number one gigging guitar uh, in, during this period. Um, also, at the same time, I also like playing pretty uh, darkish, uh, gothic inspired, not, uh, you know, uh, dark, depressing music. So something about that gothic imagery has always appealed to me. So for me, a dream guitar would have been uh, something that sounds like a Les Paul, but is a PRS and, you know, it has all of that gothic imagery. and. It looks like PR has pretty much created that with the graveyard too. Camera change time since my camera ran out. Probably to do with the guitar. <laughs> so as I was saying, the graveyard too uh, is really inspired by um, uh, by you know, I would call it Victorian Gothic horror, uh, something like an Edgar Allan Poe novel. Literally has a raven, you know, as a predominant theme and no prizes for guessing where that comes from. Key characteristics about this guitar are as follows. So it is a regular 594 in a way, in the, in the sense that the specs uh, from, a, uh, from an overall configuration standpoint are identical. Uh, two humbuckers, which, is, which are the 5815 low turns. Uh, which are more PAF style, uh, lower output humbuckers. You've got two PRS's tunematic bridge. You've got the four knobs, two volumes and two tones, one for each pickup, coil splits. And yeah, that's where it's exactly the same as any 594. However, where it's not the same as any 594 is in the construction. Uh, you have a maple top like other 594s, but this is that famous graveyard maple. The story being that Paul Reed Smith um, found uh, about 120 guitars worth of guitar tops worth of wood at a graveyard uh, from a graveyard uh, from maple trees in a graveyard in the east coast of the US and he decided to turn them into two sets of guitars the vintage inspired looking graveyard one which is also based off a 594 and this very modern yet in a way gothic and classical looking graveyard two uh, the Graveyard 2 is characterized by this blood red color called Raven's Heart which transitions very nicely from black to a bit of a dark, uh, you know, almost burgundy into red. Uh, very, very nice translucent top with constantly changing with, the, uh, with, uh, with how you look at it. Uh, I particularly like the back of the Graveyard 2 which is made of uh, swamp ash and you can see the pattern of swamp ash lends it very well to the gothic aesthetic. Uh, makes it light as well. It's a fairly light guitar. I would say it's, I haven't weighed it, but it's considerably lighter than my uh, single cut 594. Um, other interesting things about this guitar, uh, of course, similar to some artist pack uh, 594s, but not the base model, is the uh, flame maple neck. And this guitar again has exceptional flame maple. Uh, the real highlight of this guitar is the fretboard, where it transitions from ebony at the bottom all the way to flame maple at the top and flame maple is uh, is stained to look like a you know like a night sky like a sky where you expect vampire bats to be fluttering all around you it really goes well with the you know this is what sets the guitar apart and then of course it transitions into the raven at the top uh, and you can probably hear the ravens walking while you're playing <laughs> Other than that, this guitar plays and sounds exactly as you would expect of a private stock. Extremely touch sensitive, extremely dynamic. Um, core PRS guitars are great, but you know, call it um, confirmation bias or whatever. I find that that uh, private stock PRSs have an extra amount of life <laughs> inside them, which means they are that much more dynamic, that they are so much more uh, uh, what reactive to the nuances of your playing 
And for me in particular, I like finding positions in between the volumes and tones, which really, you know, which allow me to go from very light, cleanish picking to hard, um, uh, hard, punchy sounds without changing anything, sometimes just changing my pick attack. There's no getting past how expensive a guitar it is and even for me I struggled for a long time because I have a 594 already. What's the point of buying something which is fairly similar but literally three or four times the price of a very expensive guitar to begin with. Um, the logic that I convinced myself with is for me I'm a Les Paul guy. I love PRS's. They you know now I only gig with PRS's and I have been into this you know this kind of gothic uh, uh, you know, aesthetic ever since I was a child. I, of course, I'm a big fan of all the 19th century novels, uh, uh, whether it be Jekyll and Hyde or Dracula, and uh, I, you know, I like, I like the Adams Family when I was a kid. And then even for my music, I really like dark music. I love some aspects of black metal. I love uh, parts of like Opeth, you know, those kind of things, a very dark thing. And so for me, it's almost as if PRS designed this guitar for me. So as expensive as it is, you know, it's not often that a manufacturer comes back with a spec that suits you to a T. And for me, it was this. So, And it has this whole story behind it. So I really thought this, you know, I will get it if I provided I can find one and I found it. Um, so my plan is to turn this into my number one with turning my existing 594 into my backup. Uh, you know, on one hand, why gig such an expensive guitar? On the other hand, why own such an expensive guitar or such a nice guitar if you're not going to use it? So I have a show coming up next Saturday. So. It, this guitar has already been to a few uh, jam sessions, it's, it's done a great job, so yeah. Hopefully this guitar will do exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, anyways, I hope this was useful, I hope some of the sounds gave you some sense. I will make a comparison video between this and my regular 594 when I can set up things a bit more professionally. But in the meantime, um, hope you enjoy the guitar, hope you enjoy some of the sounds from it, and I'll see you next time.